What's up? Uh, I'm here to review Sherlock Holmes, uh, which most of you already know stars Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, um, M Rachel McAdams, Mark Strong. Uh, it's directed by Guy Ritchie, um, Madonna's former husband. Uh, it's um, you already know it's based off the the old um, um, Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle. I'm pretty sure his name. If, if that's not right, I'm an idiot. But yeah, it's based off all the stories from Sherlock Holmes, which is obviously detective work, and uh, him and his partner Watson, um, which is played by Jude Law. Uh, you know, they just go try to solve mysteries. It's just basically an old, old stories that's based off of. So uh, it's set in London, and the way they made it look, even though a lot of it is probably CGI, it actually looked really good, and. Um, I was looking forward to the movie, but I wasn't excited about it. I just was like going in expecting it to be a fun movie. I was actually surprised because it really was a a fun movie. I mean, both funny and action. And it wasn't like the action was just placed there to try to get more attention in the trailers. It does seem like the action was there for a reason, and it wasn't like this like explosions everywhere like Michael Bay. It was just it made sense. And it was really fun to watch the way it was directed. Um, the the dialogue was really good because the entire movie I was entertained, like whether they were just talking alone or out trying to solve mysteries. And it's really like uh, kind of a it's not like a big story, but basically, you know, this this guy Lord Blackwood, which is played by Mark Strong, he's he's practicing like this certain um, sorcery kind of magic or actually I was about to just give away a spoiler but basically he does magic and you can believe what you want um, and he was sentenced to death by hanging and after he's hung he um, they, they see that he's risen from the grave and Sherlock Holmes spends his time trying to solve how the hell he did that and what he's doing um, if he's going to try to kill anyone else because the guy is a maniac, Mark Strong is Lord Blackwood. Um, I'm explaining too much. I'm probably like kind of off the story a little bit. It's not exactly how it is. But they, uh, they really seem to have good chemistry in the movie between, you know, Watson and Holmes. And then even with Holmes and Blackwood, just like their conversations are interesting to watch. And, uh, and the only thing I really didn't care for the, a whole lot was Rachel McAdams, but she's usually a really good actress. So it's not like she took away from the movie at all. It's just I wasn't as, as interested in her as the rest of the cast. Um, even the, um, the smart-ass um, English guy that was with them, with the beard, I, I don't know his, his real name, but he's in, he's, he's in movies like Gangs of New York and, uh, and a lot of other movies, probably Sweeney Todd and stuff. But um, he was like a really good actor in it too. So he was he was like another detective that was always trying to like. He seemed like he was almost competing with Sherlock Holmes in a way, but not really. But yeah, anyways, if I had to score this movie, I'd probably give it like an eight out of ten because I was entertained the whole time, and I really did like it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Even the music was really good for for that kind of movie. And yeah, I mean, altogether, it's really worth seeing on the big screen or whenever you see it so I'd highly recommend it and especially if you like the stories I only read a few stories but I, I liked them a lot and um, if you read all the stories it seems like this movie had a lot of like like small tidbits here and there that you could like recognize from the stories that I could just tell that the movie was like that I mean even from the stories I read, I could just tell that they put a lot of little, like, extra bonuses in there for, like, Sherlock Holmes fans. So it's like, they didn't really ruin the stories at all. They they set it up, not, not like it was a cliffhanger, but they could easily make a sequel out, out of it. And they probably should, because I'll see it again, and I'm sure it'll make a lot of money. So, for, like, a holiday movie, and between the movies that are out now, you should probably go check it out if, you, if you're curious whether it's good or not. You'd probably like it. I spent money on a matinee. It was very worth it. But I'm sure if I paid full price, it would have been just as worth it. So uh, check out the movie. 
Robert Downey Jr. is the man again. He just can't help it, man.